Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start a weekend reading vlog. Um, I don't know how successful this will be. I don't know if this is actually going to turn into a vlog, but I guess if you're watching this, then technically, yes, it's a vlog. Um, it is 814. It's Saturday. I don't know what the date is, but it's like the 7th. Yeah, it's July 7th and um, I'm not feeling well. So I see myself potentially staying in bed a large portion of the day and reading, and that is why I decided to do a weekend reading vlog. Um, right now, I am listening to The Bone Season, or no, <laughs> no, I'm listening to The Children of Blood and Bone on audio, on Audible, my Audible account but I am also reading along with it in the physical copy um, which I'm liking but I feel like it's so cinematic that I could technically probably maybe just listen to it not sure I always get scared like because when I used to do that I would like lose big portions of the story and I don't want to do that with this book so I may give it a go not really sure but yeah children of blood and bone it's got to happen I've been in a fantasy mood and I've just put this off for far too long so it's time to read it and I'm being super lame and using a post-it note for a bookmark the only thing I have annotated so far is this line right here the breath I did not realize I was holding Ugh. How can you not realize you're holding a breath? Um, this story is told from different um, points of view. So every couple of chapters, it will change. Um, so, so far, I think we've had like four characters so far. So we have our main character, her brother, a princess, and the captain. So like her brother. So... Yeah. Anyway, let's get started with chapter eight. I can definitely tell that I'm not feeling well because I started reading Children of Blood and Bone or listening to it like around 8.30 and I read two chapters and then I fell asleep and it is now 12.30 and I just woke up. So yeah, I'm definitely not feeling well. I'm not sure what's wrong. I'm just... I have changed locations, but I haven't read much more, honestly. Um, let's see where I am. I lost my sticky. I don't know where I am. Oh, here I am. I am right here, chapter 17, and I started on chapter 8, so I've read a good bit, but not like a lot not as much as I wanted to read um, so page 152 this book's over 500 pages yeah like 520 or something um, anyway I am making my way slowly through that but I'm not feeling good so I'm sleeping a lot today but I just got my book of the month now and I wanted to show you which two books I got I got ghosted by Rosie Walsh and I got the Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This one is about a woman that falls madly in love with a guy and then he goes away on this vacation and minutes, weeks, days, weeks go by. Um, there's a reason and they never told each other the truth. So, um, consequences of keeping secrets, haunted by grief, ultimately learning how to let go of the past. And that's what that one looks like. And the back. I think this one is really pretty. And then I got this one. I did not read Final Girls, but, um, and the covers are similar, so it may make you think that you need to read Final Girls first. But these are two completely different stories. This one is about a group of girls that would go to summer camp, and they'd always play that game, Two Truths and a Lie. And now, um, 15 years later, um, they're going back, let's see, to uncover the truth about a tragedy that happened there 15 years ago. So, it's one of those books, something happened in the past, now they're going back to investigate. And, again, the naked cover looks like this, which I love. Um, so, yeah. 
It's almost 7 p.m. and I'm going to go ahead and start listening to a little bit more of Children of Blood and Bone. I am enjoying it, um, but it is fantasy and I tend to read fantasy slower because I don't read a lot of it and it's definitely not my favorite genre or something I always reach for, but I was in a fantasy mood, but I'm getting all these new books and I want to read them. So I need to push through some more of the Children in Blood and Bone so I don't get sidetracked with all the new shiny books. Also, my husband just made fresh coffee, which is exactly what I need to get going. So let's go get some coffee. Fresh coffee has been acquired. Headphones in case I need them. Fidget spinner. Books I'm just hauled. And Children of Blood and Bone. And Charlie. Let's do this. The coffee definitely helped. It's 7.49. I'm on page 202, chapter 23. Good morning, friends. It is Sunday. The 8th of July, it's 8.17. I just woke up a little bit ago. I'm making some hot tea to get me going. Um, I changed, so I must be feeling a little bit better. Um, yeah, I was in my PJs all day yesterday, but that's the beauty of being off in the summer and it being Saturday. Um, so I'm currently reading Children of Blood and Bone still, and my goal was to get to page 200 yesterday. But if you will remember, I got some caffeine going and I am on page 334. Chapter 50, I'm so excited. I read so much yesterday. This is what I read. So I am more than halfway through. So exciting. Um, I think I'll be able to finish today if I have as much time to read today as I did yesterday. Um, so I'm getting some tea going because there's no coffee yet. Um, and I'm gonna read this and try hopefully make a big dent like I did yesterday. Um, I'm enjoying it. It is fantasy, so there's nothing that's like wowed me yet, but my husband and I were looking at the clans, the different clans, and what are they called? The, um, the Magi clans. We were looking at the Magi clans, and we were like trying to figure out which clan we wanted to be in. So here's the different clans. Um, life and Death. Mind, spirit, and dreams. And these are the two that we've seen in the book so far. Um, but my husband wants to be in this clan, the Magi of Time, so this clan. And I want to be in this clan. So we're like right here. But he wants to be the Magi of Time, and I want to be a Magi of Animals. But we've only seen a couple of the clans represented in this first book. And I know, you know, it's at least part of a trilogy. Um, so... I'm looking forward to like continuing on and seeing what we encounter and what happens. Um, but I can definitely see that this is a setup to like a very large world. Um, and it's going to be very expansive and in depth. So I am enjoying it. Also, something else super cool that happened. So everybody that watches my channel should have at least heard of Heather from the Bookables. Well, um, she mentioned that she was doing a giveaway for Twink, like from Twinkle with Love of that book. Um, she was doing a giveaway for her copy because she got the Owl Crate, I think, like special edition cover and she was gonna keep that one, but like give away the copy that she read, which is like the normal, regular book that you would find in the stores. And she said it was done on her Instagram and I wasn't following her on her Instagram and I was like oh my god so I ran over to her Instagram followed her entered the contest and I won I was so excited so um she messaged me obviously and said hey I need your address and I was like yeah um so I sent her my address and we found out that we only live 30 minutes away from each other and I'm so excited because this prospect of meeting her like she was like hey we should meet for coffee and I'm like yes because I've always enjoyed her personality and her videos I was following her I've been a subscriber of hers since before I started my channel maybe three years before I started and I was even watching booktube before that so I've probably been watching her since the beginning of time and I'm so excited that now I have the possibility to meet her because she only lives 30 minutes from me 
crazy world. It's about 9.30 and I'm just getting to sit down to read. I'm gonna sit in bed and read because um, the light's pretty good in here and it's comfortable. Um, I was just taking some bookstagram photos, watching some videos, replying to comments and all of that. Um, I still have a little bit of my tea left so I'm just gonna sit here and try to make a good like dent I just finished reading chapter 57 and I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition which includes um, an annotated chapter and it just so happens to be chapter 57 so I was able to read the behind the scenes like annotations with the author and it was really cool. So here's chapter 57. She said it's um, her favorite chapter in the whole book. But there's little drawings and just like little notes. But yeah, a whole bunch of notes and stuff like that. So that was really fun to get to read. Hi guys, so it is... It's 2.39. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's 2.39 and I just finished reading The Children of Blood and Bone. And I know I'm probably going to get some hate about this but I rated it three stars on Goodreads. So my true rating is 3.5 stars. First, I wanna point out, I did talk to you about this earlier, but on page, um, let's see, 46, there is the line, the breath I did not realize I was holding rushes out as I pick up the wrinkled parchment. And then later on in the book, quite a bit later, on page 472, I'm not going to read the entire sentence, but it says, I release a breath I didn't realize I was holding. Da, 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 da. To me, like, how is this still in books? I know some people think it's like funny and like, ha ha ha, I still put it in my book, but like, it's annoying and it like takes me out of the story. I also, before I get into my full thoughts, I wanted to show you, I did get the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition special edition see the little sticker um, and it came with that annotated chapter that I showed you and it also came with this map on one side um, and then it came with the Magi clans on the other and as I was saying I want to be in this clan right here my husband wants to be in this clan right here unfortunately in the story we really only got a glimpse at two of the magics like in depth um, we, the first two right up here, but I did see, um, a burner. I did see a grounder and welder and a healer and a cancer, but those were like so quick and there was a tamer, but they didn't do anything. So I don't know. Anyway. Okay. So my full thoughts, I don't read a lot of fantasy. We know this and this is the fantasy that everybody's been talking about and I was like I need to get on it because I do like fantasy from time to time examples being the girl of fire and thorns the bone season I don't know oh um, a darker shade of magic I loved that mm. so those are three off the top of my head um, that I really did enjoy for different reasons. And maybe I need to do a discussion about this. My reading with fantasy. Anyway, um, I never felt myself like lost or confused because I was listening to it on audiobook, which helped with the names and the places and, you know, all of the different clan names and God names and towns and all of that. So that really helped. Um, I've learned that if it's gonna be a fantasy book, it's really helpful to me as a reader if I like have the physical book to try to get it on audio and read along with it. I finished this book in three days. The first day I only read like seven chapters and then yesterday and today I like finished it. Um, I read probably 300 pages yesterday and then like 150 pages today. Um, so yeah, overall I enjoyed it, but I don't think it brought anything new, fresh, or unique. Um, you basically follow four characters, um, a brother and a sister and a brother and a sister. And um, there's kind of like a divide between the people who used to have magic and the people that stripped the magic away. 
and now it looks like there's a way for magic to come back to these people and that's what these people are fighting for and really one of these people are kind of fighting with them and this one other person is trying to you know keep it away um so it's just basically about them going on the hunt to find these artifacts to hopefully bring back magic and get to a certain destination within a certain time and hopefully bring back magic. Um, along the way, we do see some of the magics, like I said, and all of the characters aren't what they seem right off the bat. So that was kind of cool. Um, there are some betrayals in there and stuff. There's some sad points. Um, people die but that's to be expected in this like clash that we have. Um, but my biggest complaint was that there were def, I mean, it's a 525 page book. So I didn't see that it needed to be over the regular 300, 350 pages. Um, there was a lot of world building. And like I said, you're, the story is told through those four different perspectives. So, you're getting to know characters more in detail and stuff like that but like I don't know it just felt a little bit too much so it was a little bit too long um, and it didn't bring anything like anything that I was like oh my gosh that's so awesome or that's so different that's so you know unique and fresh and wow I really loved that it just seemed like an average fantasy read to me was it good yes will I continue in the series probably most likely yes but um, it wasn't anything that I need to like shout from the rooftops. Oh my gosh, best fantasy book ever. Yeah, definitely not that. So those are my final thoughts of Children in Blood and Bone. Um, I do like the reason why the author decided to write the story that she did and that it provoked her to write the story because it was enjoyable. Um, it just kind of lulled in parts and it wasn't like anything super fresh, something. And I don't read a lot of fantasy. So for people that read a lot of fantasy, I'm sure they've seen a lot of this kind of stuff before. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this weekend reading vlog. I know I only finished one, but it was a 525 page book. So yay me. Yeah, I'm going to close out this weekend reading vlog. Next up, I'm going to be reading another super popular book. Um, but check me out on Goodreads. Check me out on Twitter. Um, follow along on my journey and on my other social medias that are always linked down in the description box down below. Let me know what you thought of this book. I'm sure a lot of you are going to disagree with me, but... Anyway, it is what it is. Have a great day. Bye.